service. Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. This is a five minute mindful morning devotional that I am starting for busy people. I don't know about you, but I do not have as much time anymore as I used to <laughs> now being a mum. However, it is just the best way to start the day in God's word, in his presence. If you are new here, my name is Laura. I met, got engaged, married, and fell pregnant all within a year of meeting my husband. I've got a certificate in Christian life coaching and nutrition, and it is my joy to create these videos to help bless and inspire you to be your happiest healthiest and most healed version of yourself so with that being said i was just having my little bible time with koa here and you can see obviously his bib is very practical at the moment being behind him but we're just having a little bible time out on the deck before church this morning and this psalm hit me it hit me so hard because it's talking about entering his courts with thanksgiving and with praise. God is enthroned upon our praises. And if God is enthroned upon our praises, who is enthroned upon our complaining? Look, little confession is Koa, a lovely angel boy. He's four months and he's just struggling a little bit to sleep through the night. Every two hours we're waking up. I know about you, but I find that if I haven't had sleep, I'm like a different person. I have caught myself complaining. I have caught myself just being grumpy and grisly and mind the plane. Proverbs talk so much about how there is life and death in the power of the tongue. And if we watch what we think, we don't have to watch what we say. And in Revelations, it talks about how heaven's gates are made up of one single giant pearl. But pearls are made through irritation. Pearls are made in the trials, in the grit, in the irritation. How much, how much irritation caused such a giant pearl? pearl to be created. What I'm really grabbing from this is that we're going to have trials, we're going to have tribulations. Jesus says in this world you will have trouble. But what a beautiful opportunity it actually is to praise God when it's hard. Praise God when things aren't going our way. Praise God when things are tough, when we've lost the job, when we haven't had sleep, when we're waiting on God's promises. What an opportunity to give thanks to God because when we're in heaven and there is no, no death and pain, we don't have that opportunity again and so when I am tired, really tired I get an opportunity this side of heaven to say thank you God that you are good thank you God that your mercies are new every day thank you that weeping may last in the night but joy comes in the morning because Ephesians 4 talks about let no unholy word come from your mouth something like that I'm butchering it but you can look it up everything that comes from our mouth, our, 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 everything that comes from our, our mouth needs to be encouraging and edifying and uplifting. And look, we are not denying the problem when we praise God in the difficult trials. We're not like putting our head in the sand, but what we're doing is we're, we're disempowering the problem and we're empowering God. We are when we're praising, we're telling ourselves, faith, rise up. What I'm doing is I'm saying, God, I, I trust you in the pain. I trust you when things aren't working out. We don't know what we're going to do. We've just found out that we have to uh, move. Our like landlord's coming back. We're wondering what to do, where we're going to live and work and all that sort of stuff. Like, But thank you, God, that, that you are good. Thank you, God that you have us, that you're our provider. Thank you, God, that just as much as you've brought us here and looked after us, that your manna comes, your daily bread comes afresh every morning, that we can trust you, that you're our good father. Thank you, God. And so that's what I am doing at the moment is in the irritation, in the struggle, I'm believing that a giant pearl something beautiful can be made from this and so i'm coming to god with thanksgiving i'm coming to him with praise trusting him that he is our provider he's a good father so that's my little five minute mindful morning meditation i hope it blesses you so goodbye from koa 
and I and wherever you are wherever you go whatever you do make sure you spread some love Woo.